Wow! That is a beautiful backpack. It's the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack. But while we can all admit that it's a damn good looking tote pack, how's the functionality? Is it actually both a tote and a backpack? And is it worth the $180 USD price tag? Let's find out. Okay, so let's kick off this review by talking about the overall gist of the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack. And really, like, you know, the name's not deceiving. It is a tote that is also a pack. It does both. So this is a 20 liter tote slash pack. And 20 liters is great for everyday carry. You're not gonna be able to travel the world with 20 liters, but it's big enough as to where you can fit most of the gear that you're going to carry on an everyday basis. We've got 400D recycled nylon on this part, 900D recycled nylon on this part. Peak Design signature branding with like these super beautiful leather accents, whether it's the handles or the branding, or just this little like little leather accent right there. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got some magnets. We've got some quick side access. We've got Peak Design's signature made in-house ultra zips. And it comes in two colors, black or bone, which is white, but bone sounds so much cooler. And real fast, before we jump into the review, my name is Aaron, the guy behind the camera is Tap. Together, we are Nomads Nation. We do the best freaking backpack, tote, sling, all those kinds of things that carry things and other things. If you like those kind of reviews, hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell. Let's talk about this tote pack. First up, we're gonna start with the front. Some bullet points. We're gonna talk about the front pocket, the tote handles, Peak Designs branding, and the external lash points. All right, let's start off by talking about the front pocket. This pocket is accessible with Peak Designs Ultra Zip Zippers. Got a nice speedy zip to them. And then in the actual compartment, we have one, two, three, four smaller pockets, one, two, three larger pockets, and a retractable key leash. Let's start with the key leash. Now it's made with this elastic material, which I quite like because it's like retractable, right? You're taking your keys out, you're unlocking your door, and then boom, it's... <laughs> That wasn't very smooth, but it just kind of goes back into place, right? And the cool thing though, is that this is made in-house from Peak Design, and you can go ahead and actually pop your actual keys off. So now your keys are like this, and if you want to slide them back on, just do one of those, good to go. I really like the materials that Peak Design uses for these pockets in this compartment. The four smaller ones are great for smaller bits of gear. Specifically for you photographers out there, these pockets are going to be perfect for your extra batteries and your SD cards. And then on the flip side, we've got the larger pockets. These are obviously good for larger bits of gear, something like a portable battery. Overall, this is not a huge pocket, but it's not designed to be. It's designed to hold and organize your smaller tidbits of gear. And because it's a PU coated zipper, that means that all of those tidbits of gear will be protected from water. Next up is the tote handles. And we're gonna talk about like the tote handles and also Peak Design's branding. The tote handles themselves are fairly comfortable, a little bit of padding, a little bit of leather on top. The leather gives it a nice look, but also a nice smooth feel. You have a magnetic component right here, which in essence helps sort of connect the two straps, giving it a nice, clean, tidy look. It's not a perfect system. Like the straps don't stay like perfectly hinged together but I would definitely rather have it than not have it. And then with the leather on the actual tote handles, we have the leather on Peak Design signature branding right here, this little tab. And it's kind of a, what, how, how'd you say it's have? Mid-century modern. Mid-century modern. I don't know what that means, but I love it. And finally, let's talk about the lash points. There's one, two, three, four on the bottom, two on the front, and two more on the back. These lash points are for the carry straps. These carry straps come included with the Peak Design Everyday Tote. And basically they give you the option to carry things externally on the pack. So let's say you wanna carry something on the outside of the pack, you simply grab the strap, pop it into place, you gotta wait to hear it, the pop. And kaboom, we have a new way to carry things. So whether you have a jacket, yoga mat, tripod, bike helmet, whatever it might be, you can use these straps to carry these items externally on the tote pack. Okay, next up, let's talk about the middle of the Peak Design Tote Pack. So for the middle of this pack, we got two bullet points. We're gonna talk about the side access zips, as well as the main compartment. Let's talk about the side access zips. I'm not gonna lie, if these things weren't here, I would not like this pack. Reason being, the main compartment access 
just on the top is very limited, right? Like, it's difficult to see what's in the bottom. It's challenging to sort of get into, it's just sort of like a black hole of death in there. But thankfully, the side access allows you to get into the main compartment via the side, and that is also, there's a really cool functional component to this, which I'll explain to you momentarily. These zips are super smooth, super easy to open. And one cool thing is that they're lockable. So you can go ahead and unhook this right here, slide it down there, hook it back in, and then no matter where you are, if you're just looking for that little extra sense of security, these are locked into place, ain't no one getting in there. Also should be noted, I really love Peak Design zipper pulls because of their functionality. Also, they look quite nice, but it's just super nice just to do this with your finger. One finger it, just like this. Also, you know something else that you can do with one finger? <laughs> Hitting the like button. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> the tree that totally bread. Hitting the like button. <laughs> Moving on. Now I'm gonna tie this all together in a moment, but let's go back to the top. So as you can see, we have a magnetic opening and I like what they did here, very well designed, as the magnets are here and here, okay? Two magnets, very strong magnets, very fun and satisfying to use, but the magnet not being here allows you to easily open and close this compartment. Nice little leather accent right there, just kind of gives it a little extra life. And then once you're in, you have a zipper access as well. Now, the cool thing about the zipper is like, you don't need to necessarily open and close it. Unless it's like raining, then you can zip it closed, do that, roll it a little bit. Ain't no rain gonna get into the main compartment. In the main compartment, we really have two things to take into consideration. Thing number one is the tech compartment. This tech compartment has two sleeves. Sleeve number one is for your laptop, which can hold a laptop as large as a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And then on the flip side, we have the tablet compartment, which carries up to a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I think the tech compartment seems pretty well designed. It seems well padded. It's also suspended. It comes down to right about here, which is great. It's called a false bottom. So if your bag drops, your laptop will stay safe and secure. The other thing with the main compartment though, to know are these guys, ah, come on. Oh wow, they're sturdy. I can do this. Come on, unvelcroing. Ah, got it. Flex fold dividers. These flex fold dividers are one of Peak Design's signature accessories. And basically what they are is they're Velcro cubby systems. You just sort of, you stick each side onto either side of the main compartment, whether that's vertical or horizontal, and you can sort of customize how you want to organize your main compartment with these unique little cubbies, right? And I stand firm that I believe that for photographers, these are a godsend. But to non-photographers, like myself, I, I, I don't care for these. They just don't really add much value to me. Like I don't need to organize things cubby wise internally within my bag in a way that these kind of work. It's just, they don't work for me. Having said that though, if you are a photographer, these are going to be an absolute godsend because you can organize the interior of your bag however you want that best fits your DSLR gear. But here's where we tie it all together, right? Especially if you photographers out there is that this side axis is fantastic for grabbing your DSLR. Why? Because all you do is you sling the pack over, unzip, grab and kaboom, camera in hand. This is a fake camera. There is no camera in my hand right now because we're using one, two, three cameras. We have a three camera shoot. I know, we're going places on this channel. But you can imagine, right, that quick access. And whether it's the camera or the water bottle, I'm a huge fan of packs or tote packs that have this sling and zip quick access. One thing to notice though is the zipper kind of gets a little stuck sometimes. It's a two-hander, so you're gonna have to hold and pull. This side as well, it's kind of a hold and pull type thing. And one great point that Tab brought up is for all you photographers out there, is that this is a little bit tighter of an access point. Compare this access to like the Peak Design everyday backpack, right? That backpack is a really bulky, it's like a 270 degree opening, and it's like, it opens, and it's like this beautiful glorious flap, and it's like, ah! This is a little bit tighter, so when you're grabbing and taking your DSLR out, it like kind of gets a little stuck. But when you pop it out, it's good to go. So that's a little bit annoying, but on the pro side, when you do open this to grab your very expensive camera gear, you're not worried about it like falling out. The opening, like even if you like actually left this open, right, and your camera gear was there, like it would probably stay put. 
So from that perspective, the tightness of the access of this compartment is kind of a double-edged sword. You got some pros with it and you got some cons with it. Let's talk about the back of the Peak Design Tote Pack. Some bullet points. We've got the comfort of the straps, the daisy chain webbing, G-hook, the stowability of the straps, and the back padding, or lack thereof. Let's start with the comfort of the straps. It should be noted that compared to other straps, these straps are a bit on the thin side. But Peak Design has combated this by adding a nice amount of padding. I would say we put a bunch of stuff in this bag and I wore it and I felt like it was a pretty comfortable experience, more or less. A little bit of branding right here. And as you move down, you can see we have the daisy chain webbing right here. To understand the point of the daisy chain webbing, we have to explain the G-hook. So let's talk about both at the same time. So with the G-hook, you can go ahead and unclip this, right? Like that. And this is then how you adjust the length of the shoulder straps. So if you want a little bit tighter of a fit, you can go ahead and clip it on right here. And if you like a looser fit, you can go ahead and clip it on right there. The cool thing about this though, is like, let's say you like a tighter fit. While some of us like tighter fits on our packs, none of us like dangle, right? So you can go ahead though and stow the excess strap in this little hidden compartment right there. Stowing, stowing, stowing gone. But let's talk about the next part and it's how these are actually stowable. Cause right, like think about it. Like this is a tote pack. <sighs> these are annoying. If you unhook the daisy chain webbing from the G hooks, so you can go ahead and take the straps. Stuff them into this little hidden compartment. And holy moly, straps are gone. Et voila. And now you are in pure tote experience. But you're like, ah, oh, dude, it's so annoying. Those little G hooks are there. These little chode right? Just off. They don't have to be. Remember that little stowable area right there? You take the G hooks, put them in their place. And now look at it, flush, right? Like, it's just like this beautiful white bone milkiness. And it's just, you go ahead and just kind of roll this part down a little bit and the tote experience is legit as But you might be asking yourself, oh wait Aaron, this is a tote pack. How does it feel when it's being carried in backpack mode? And that's one thing to take into consideration is because while these shoulder straps are comfortable, notice right here, there's a lack of back padding. Now most 20 liter everyday carry backpacks will have like a ventilated back padding, like molded panel situation going on. That helps to give your back a little bit extra cushion. This doesn't offer that. So what's important to take into consideration is that if you're thinking about purchasing the tote pack, it's not to have the world's most comfortable backpack because this is not the world's most comfortable backpack. It's not even Peak Design's most comfortable backpack. That's what you're sacrificing for the tote slash backpack fusion experience. But if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't need a perfect backpack, nor do I need a perfect tote. I want some fusion between the two. This is gonna be as good as it gets. Think about like the Wander Perverky, we've done that one tab, right? And it's also a great tote, but like, when you go into tote mode, you can't stow the straps. And when you're in tote mode, it's a good carrying experience, but the straps are still flapping all over the place. So this is a lot cleaner of a solution, but the Wander Perverky, I think is a better backpack. All right, let's talk about some overall pros and some overall cons of the Peak Design Tote Pack. Pros, it's sexy. It's a really interesting combination of a tote and a backpack. And the quick side axis is gonna be great for everybody, photographers especially. But cons, I got three of them. Limited accessibility from the top into the main compartment. Undoing the shoulder strap from the G hooks was kind of a bitch. And the side axis, when you're closing it, sometimes it gets a little stuck. It's kind of a two-hander sometimes. Close, bitch. There you go. If you're looking at the Peak Design tote pack right now with yearning eyes and you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to have that in my life. I get it. You should totally buy it. But if you're going to, we would really appreciate it if you use the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support our channel. But if you're just not quite sold yet, you're like, I've been here for, I don't know, I'm gonna guess 17 minutes and I think I don't want this bag, but I'm still here because it's close to what I want, but it's not quite what I want. Don't worry, I will lead you in the right direction. So if you're sitting there and thinking to yourself, did I really want a backpack? But I want like back padding and ventilation for a more comfortable backpack carrying experience. I would not get this bag. Instead, I would recommend the Wandered Perverky or the Wandered Perverky Light. Similarly, that pack is made for photographers, looks sexy as 
can be carried as a tote, but it just has a better backpack experience on the whole back part. And reviews on both those packs, the Perverky and the Perverky Light, can be found in the description below. Now, this also might not be the pack for you. If you're, you're here and you're like, I'm looking for a photography carrying ex experience. And I'm looking for a tote because I just don't want a backpack. So that's why I'm here because I'm anti-backpack. And that's cool, backpacks ain't for everyone. But you might wanna check out the Peak Design Everyday Messenger. Tab, our videographer slash photographer extraordinaire, has been using it as his EDC for a while now for camera gear. Tab, you're a fan, right? Definitely, man. It's yeah? really comfortable. It's really comfortable? What else is cool about it? You can use it for shopping when you don't have a camera in it. Comfortable, can be used for shopping, can be used for camera gear. If you're interested in that, take a look at the description below. We've got a link to our full review down there. And finally, you might be like, okay, I'm here because I want just a sexy, cool looking photography backpack. But you might not be sold on this type of sexy, cool photography looking backpack. If that's the case, we've got another cool, sexy photography looking bag. I can't remember how I said it. Anyways, it's called the Boundary Supply Errant. Made for photographers, incredibly cool aesthetic. Different, but equally as cool. Full link in the description below. Check it out. If you're still here and you found the video useful, the best way to support the channel is to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know anytime we do a new review. Because we got so many things that we review. We got tote bags and tote packs and backpacks. Like, we're just, oh, shit. I think I broke something. And also, let us know in the comments, what do you think about the Peak Design tote pack? Have you bought it? It's so funny. I live in Hong Kong. I have been seeing these everywhere. The Peak Design tote packs are blowing up. So if you own one, I really want to hear about your experience. Your comments help the whole community and the internet as a whole find the pack that is perfect for them. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time.